Do you know how many times the word Lord is found in the Bible? Well, I'll tell you. In the King James Version, the word Lord is found 7,836 times. Wow, that's a lot of times for any book to have one particular word, so the word Lord. But I'm here to tell you that the word Lord is not always created equal. Hi, I'm Pastor Mark with Heights Christian Church, and what we are doing is we are going through the Bible in five years. And so six days a week, we take a portion of scripture and we read it together. And then we take a little something out of that scripture that we read uh, in, in that particular day. And we take it out because we want to talk about it and maybe help us to be more like Jesus. So we invite you to subscribe to this channel and, and be a part of this and tune in every day. And um, Pastor Jeremy and myself be happy to read through this with you and as a matter of fact we're doing Psalm 68 today and it's kind of a long long uh, psalm so let's dive right into it okay Psalm 68 and this is a psalm of David and today's reading will be from the New King James let God arise let his enemies be scattered let those also who hate him flee before him as smoke is driven away so drive them away as wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yes, let them rejoice exceedingly. Sing to God. Sing praises to his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds. By his name, Yah, and re rejoice before him. A father of the fatherless, a defender of the widows, is God in his holy habitation. God sets the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity, but the rebellious dwell in a dry land. O oh God, when you went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, Salah, the earth shook, the heavens also dropped rain at the presence of God. Sinai itself was moved at the presence of God, the God of Israel. You, O oh God, sent a, a plentiful rain, whereby you confirmed your inheritance. When it was weary, your congregation dwelt in it. You, O oh God, provided from your goodness for the poor. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those who proclaimed it. Kings of armies flee. They flee. And she who remains at home divides the spoil. Though you lie down among the, sh the sheepfolds, you will be like the wings of a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered kings in it, it was white as snow in Zalman. A mountain of God is the mountain of Bashan, a mountain of many peaks in the mountain of Bashan is the mountain of Bashan. Why do you fume with envy, you mountains, O many peaks? This is the mountain which God desires to dwell in. Yes, the Lord will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. The Lord is among them as in Sinai, in the holy place. You have ascended on high. You have led captivity captive. You have received gifts among men, even from the rebellious, that the Lord God might, dwa might dwell there. Blessed be the Lord, he who daily loads us with benefits, the God of our salvation, Salah. Our God is the God of salvation, and to God the Lord belong, escapes from death. But God will wound the head of his enemies, the hairy scalp of the one who still goes on in his trespasses. The Lord said, I will turn back from Bashan. I will bring them back from the depths of the sea, that your foot may crush them in blood, and the tongues of your dogs may have their portion from your enemies. They have seen your procession, O God, the procession of my God, my King, into the sanctuary. The singers went before, the players on instruments followed after. Among them were the maidens playing timbrels, 
Bless God in the congregations. The Lord from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin, their leader, the princes of Judah and their company, the princes of Zebulun and the princes of Naphtali. Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, what you have done for us because of your temple at Jerusalem. Kings will bring presents to you. Rebuke the beasts of the reeds, the herds of bulls with the calves of the peoples, till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war. Envoy, envoys will come out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you, you kingdoms of the earth. Oh, sing praises to the Lord. Salah. To him who rides on the heaven of heavens, which were of old, indeed he sends out his voice, a mighty voice, ascribe strength to God. His excellence is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. O God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Well, wow, it was a long one, and it was all over the place. But, hey, you did your part today, and you read along with me. And so you have done quite a bit of reading today in the Bible. read all of chapter 68. So I'd just like to point something out really quick to you. Here on verse, uh, verses 17 through 19, that you might point something out to you. If you notice, Lord is mentioned here several times. So... Um, in verse 17, this is the Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. Now, if you look at the word Lord there, just capitalized, but is a, a lowercase o, lowercase r, and lowercase d. And then you get down to 18, and then at the very end of verse 18, it says that the Lord God might dwell them. And then you have a, a capital L, a capital O, capital R, capital D. Okay, and so that's just a little different. So what's it? Not all lords are created equal. So there's there's Lord here twice, and both of them are in reference to God because they're both capitalized. But one has all capitals, so sometimes you can't really tell whether whether the O is a capital or not. So you have to look at the R and the D. If they have a capital R and capital D, then you know that this is a special Lord. In fact, in, in, the, in the Old Testament, um, they use the word Lord or Adonai or Adon in different ways for the word Lord. But when it says Lord with the capitals L-O-R-D all capitalized, that's in reference to the, the actual name of God, which is Yahweh, which is the Tetragrammaton. And so... When you're reading through the Old Testament and you see that this actually re in reference to the actual name of the Lord and um, those scribes that were writing this were so uh, worried about defaming or having uh, God's name misused that they changed it to Lord rather than his actual name. Now in reference earlier in, in the reading it says talks about his name is Yah, and so with with that, it's, it, that's a pretty close one here in verse four by his name Yah, and that, that's the starting of his name. Um, it's it's in reference to God's name, and so this is important for you as a as you're studying scripture that not all lords are created equal. Sometimes if you, if you have if you have a lowercase lord, it's talking about master or uh, someone who is in charge. And then you have capitalized L, Lord Adonai. This would be telling you that it's talking about God in reference to God, but it's not giving him his actual name. And then in other places when you find Lord with the capitals L, capital O, capital R, capital D, check the R and D you will know that this is actually in reference to God's holy name, Yahweh. And we are grateful that we know his name and that we have, have a way of getting to know him just like he knows us. Uh, he is choosing to want to have a relationship with us. I think that's very exciting for us 
to know that, that he desires a relationship with us. And by reading his word and by praying and meditating on him, that we can get to know him in ways that others have never done. So I want to encourage you with these words today, and we hope to see you tomorrow.